Welcome! In this video, we'll guide you through setting up the Pisanet X Phone Rental app. First, go to pisanetx.com and select Phone Rental. Next, scroll down to Steps and Guides and create your account. Once your account is created, go back to the site, download the app, and install it. After installation, open the app. You can adjust the basic settings if you like, or skip this step and click the check button. Allow all necessary permissions to ensure the app runs smoothly without issues. Once the initial setup is complete, the app automatically provides a 3-day free trial. If you want to adjust more settings, log into the admin panel. The default password is admin123. If you're satisfied with the trial, you can activate the app with a license key. Just log into your account and select the license key option. If you prefer to continue the trial, simply skip this step. To add apps to the dashboard, log in again to the admin panel, click Manage Apps, and select which apps will be available for renters to use. Now that we're done setting up the phone device for rental, let's go to the admin portal where you can easily monitor and manage your phone devices anytime, anywhere. Go to cpapp.pisanetx.com and log into your account. In this admin portal, you can manage and monitor all devices, including sales. 
You can also manage licenses for example. If you wish to transfer a license to another device, you can revoke it here. Now, let's connect to our rental devices. Click on Authorize, Connect. The device admin login password is the same password used to access the rental device's admin panel. By default, it is admin 1 to 3. Make sure the devices are labeled as connected so that the portal can detect them. Now, we can adjust and manage the settings easily without needing to go directly into the devices. In the admin portal, you can add time and even transfer it to another device. You can even change the pattern security in case renters discover it by sneaking or watching. That's it, you're all set up and ready to go. Don't forget to follow our Facebook page for upcoming updates and bug fixes. Thank you for watching.